I am Jean Van Roy. I am the actual brewer at the, the Cantillon Brewery. Fourth generation, my great grandfather uh, opened the brewery uh, in 1900. My grandfather, Marcel Cantillon, took the brewery over after the war too. And my father, Jean Pierre Van Roy, married with Claude Cantillon, the daughter of Marcel. Uh, took the brewery over in 69. I'm working here myself since uh, 89 uh, and I am uh, the actual brewer since uh, 12 or 13 seasons now. So the brewery is uh, a small brewery. We produce here uh, 1,700 hectoliters beer. It's our maximum capacity. We have no possibility to, to produce more because we don't have space enough. Because such a production, a land big production, needs a lot of space for the maturation. So we are brewing here Lambic. Lambic is a uh, a unique beer because of the fermentation. Lambic is today the last beer in the world from spontaneous fermentation. Spontaneous fermentation means that we don't work with cultured yeast. We are working here only with natural yeast coming from the air, with urban yeast. Uh, so in a Lambic brewery, uh, we don't cool the wort. The wort stay here during one night in contact with the air uh, for a natural cooling. And when the liquid is cooling down, we obtain a natural inoculation with a lot of different types, different variety of yeast, uh, probably a bit more than 100 different yeast and bacteria are uh, inoculated the world during the night. Uh, we need a lot of time to produce such a beer. Uh, we need between two and three years uh, to produce a beer like a goose or a fruit beer. The, the, a process called turbid mesh. It's a type of decoction. So we pump up uh, a part of the liquid before to obtain the saccharification. And we pump up the liquid in a boiling tin. We boil it to avoid the saccharification but to produce more dextrins. Because yeast, the Brettanomyces present in our beer, needs such a sugar for uh, for the long cons the long beer conservation because we, we we can age a goose for 20 30 40 years but to age the beer so long we need dextrins for the brettanomyces give at the end of the process, so when we use the beers from the wooden barrels, 5,500 liters. But we pump up from the mash tin to the boiling tin, 10,000 liters. So uh, during all the process, boiling, cooling, uh, maturation in the wooden barrels, we lose not so far from 50% of the volume we pump up from the mash tin.
we are working with aged hop. Uh, in fact, we use hop not for the bitterness. So in Alembic Brewery, uh, we use hop as a preservative. Hop avoid the, 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 the bacterial development. And uh, in the Alembic, we have a lot of bacteria. We need it because bacteri the bacteria play a role in the Alembic fermentation, in the Alembic complexity, but we don't need a big bacteria development. one year and maximum three years so it, it depends of the the taste of the beer uh, time to time we decide to uh, to use a beer directly after one year and time to time when we taste it we say oh it's probably better to keep it and we keep it for two or three years after after bottling it, it depends what we what we need what we what we want to do with the with the lambic so we can uh, commercialize a classic lambic, but for uh, such a beer we have to wait at least three years because after three years all the sugar are converted and a lambic without sugar can't referment. If we want to produce a goose we have to blend those different lambics one, two and three years. The young lambic will bring some sugar for the natural second fermentation in the bottle and the old lambic will bring more, more character, more, uh, more, more, uh, more balance in the blending. And for the fruit beers, we are working with uh, different types of lambic. It depends on the type of fruits we use. Uh, we don't use the same, the same lambic, the same type of lambic for a cherry than for an apricot or for grapes, for example. So it depends on which type of lambic we, we need for which type of fruit. Back again And I've lost my only friend Yeah, here we are Back again And I've lost my only friend And I miss you I miss you It's, it's amazing I'm I, I love to, to, to go to to US to Italy to, to feel to feel this this passion uh, around around Lambic. Uh, I love it because 20 25 years ago this beer was really in danger. Uh, a lot of people thought that Lambic traditional Lambic will probably disappear of the beer world because the beer was too archaic, too sour, too too a lot of things. And no, we are, we are living a real renewal for sour beers, a real renewal for Lambic. And it's great, it's, it's great for Cantillon, but first of all, it's great for my beer. Because finally, uh, Lambic, which is a, a wonderful beer, Lambic uh, received this, this consecration and it's fun, wonderful for the beer itself, not only for Cantillon, but for the other uh, traditional Lambic producers. And take a walk around my empty house Empty without you Yeah, take a walk around my empty house 
you have this sentence above in French, le temps ne respecte pas ce qui se fait sans lui, so uh, uh, it means we need time to produce a great product, not only beer, but time is very, very important. Uh, passion, uh, because without, without passion, for me, it's impossible to produce such a beer, and respect, a lot of respect for the product. You know, it's uh, for me, Lambic is, my beer is a, is a partner. We are working together. It's not, uh, the beer is alive, the beer has its own life, and I have to work with the product. Okay, if the beer is not ready, we have to wait. We don't decide. So we are working with the beer, and we don't use the beer like a classic a classic brewery